During this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a webinar page and how to link it with GoToWebinar. All right. So here we are right now, and I am in the InstaBuilder settings. And if you just scroll down a little bit, you're going to see the GoToWebinar section here where we need to enter our settings. And more importantly, we need to enter our consumer key. Now to do this, you're going to need a GoToWebinar account and you're gonna to need to sign up with a Citrix developer account. And you can actually click this link here to sign up and it's free to sign up. And once you sign up and you're logged in, you're gonna see a screen like this where you need to create an app for your website. And as you can see, I don't have any apps right now, so I'm gonna click on add a new app. And from here, we just need to give this an, a name and a description. So I will just say tutorial video for both of these. And then for the product API, we're gonna use GoToWebinar. And now for the application URL, we're gonna head back to our settings and InstaBuilder is gonna tell us what we should enter for the application URL, which in my case is my domain name. Yours is gonna be your domain name. So we're just gonna copy that and we're gonna head back over here and we are going to paste that and then create app. Now that we have that created, we can go ahead and click on our new app and it's gonna take us to a new screen that will give us our consumer key, which is what we need to go ahead and copy and paste inside of InstaBuilder. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna jump back over here. I'm going to paste that consumer key, and then I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom and save it. Now, once we have that saved and the page refreshes, you now will have the option to connect InstaBuilder with your GoToWebinar account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And that is going to take me to a GoToWebinar login form where they want me to log in to my GoToWebinar account. And once logged in, it's going to ask for permission. So as it's saying, the app tutorial video, which is what I named my application, is requesting access to your GoToWebinar account. Allow or deny. We are going to click on allow to get that all linked up. And that's going to redirect me back to our settings. And we can now see that we are connected. Our status is connected. Now, when we go to go ahead and create our webinar page, I'm gonna scroll down here, I'm gonna edit my webinar page. As we can see here, I am going to click on the register form here. I am then going to click on the gear symbol to bring up my options on the right hand side. And now I'm gonna click on webinar integration. And once I do that, you're gonna see that we now have a drop down menu that is integrated with GoToWebinar. And when I click this drop down menu, it's gonna give you a list of all the different webinars that you currently have scheduled inside of your GoToWebinar account. And you can choose whichever webinar that you want this particular page to be subscribing to or registering to. So all I have right now is a test webinar that I set up. So when I click on that, I now get the option to insert my webinar thank you page URL and I can insert that there and then save my page. And now when someone comes to this webinar page and they register now, they're going to be registering for my test webinar that I have scheduled to go. And that's just how simple it is to link InstaBuilder 2.0 with your GoToWebinar account and to create your webinar pages.